Hi everyone, let's understand how we can draw this skewness curve with the, in the Excel file. So first of all, I am going to take just copying all this data from this sheet to another sheet, fresh sheet. These are my 50 students marks. I'm just opening new sheet. You can see here. I'm just putting up all these marks, copied these marks in this new Excel sheet. What I will do, simply, these are the marks of 50 students of my class. I want to draw this skewness curve or normality curve. I just want to check whether the data is positively skewed or negatively skewed or it is normally distributed. So what I will do, first of all, you need for this purpose, you need data, right? And you can see this data analysis tool pack you required. So how you can install this data analysis tool pack? Simply you will go to file. Again, I'm repeating this process. You will go to file and you will go here options and in options, click here add-ins and in add-ins, you can see analysis tool pack you have to press go and analysis tool pack you have to check this box and press ok i'm not doing all these things because already i have this tool pack is already installed in my excel sheet a moment you will do it you can see data analysis tool pack will be installed in your excel file after this what you have to do simply you will go there data analysis and descriptive statistics because how we are going to draw this skewness curve, we need descriptive statistics. Press OK. Select input range. Input range would be all these students' marks. That is your input range I had selected. Group by columns. Yes, of course, because column-wise data I am going to take in. Output range. Press here, output range, and select this, and where you want to get this output. Suppose I am pressing here, D3. This is the this is the cell I required, so output, and simply summary statistics I want, and I would press OK. So now you can see, this is summary of the this data. I'm just uh, increasing font size, and uh, you can see, I have increased font size and now it is, uh, this is the data. Now, standard error, you can see, and we can rename this uh, heading. This is not the column, what we have to give them, uh, summary statistics. Summary statistics, correct? These are summary statistics. Correct. Now, and uh, now what we have to do, uh, simply I am doing border of all these. That looks better. And uh, easily that would be, you can identify. Summary statistics. Here is, now I need bin value. So simply I am going to write here bin. And again, I am increasing my font size, right? And bold also, well. And uh, here is, I'm just putting up border also, right? So here is, first of all, what we will do, equal sign. Then I will take mean value. I'm just putting up a font size of all, right? I'm increasing this font size. So that would be visible to you. I'm putting up 26 font size, right? And equal sign. Then I am taking this value, mean value, right? And I will press minus. Then 3. And asterisk sign multiplied by standard deviation. Because this column, this these values is reflecting standard deviation. Then I would press enter. You can see this is the bin value of this data set. After that, equal sign. And what we are doing, equal sign, this value, and I will write plus sign, and then standard deviation. Then I would write standard deviation. I would press and 
So this is the value and I will scroll down this value till the last row. Now what we have to do, how we have to create this skewness curve. We will go to this data and data analysis and then histogram. We will select histogram, press OK. Again, input range, what would be input range? Input range, simply these marks. Those are the 50 students marks I have selected. Now I will click here bin range. That is my bin range. And after that, what we have to do, output range, where you want output. Let's say I want output here only. This is the cell. I will select and I will press OK. So now you can see this is the output as we have received. And uh, this is the output. And after this, what I'm going to do, I'm just increasing font size. So data will be visible. And I will put in all line borders. I need now this curve here. So what I will do, I will select this data. Right. After selecting this data, I will go to insert and I need a scatter plot. So let's say I'm just putting up this scatter plot and now you can see this skewness curve is here. And the same manner, whatever is your data, this skewness curve skewed, whether it is the positively skewed or this negatively skewed or it is a, a normally distributed curve. So this date, this this one is you can prepare. If you would select bin and frequency also, let me Right, I'm taking. So you will get the these y-axis and x-axis border also. So simply I will go to insert and uh, scatter plot and I will click here. And now you can see what is the difference. You can see frequency is written here, right? And bin is already here. Chart title is also there. Here is no chart title, but here is title also. And all the values are reflected over here. So I hope this video will be helpful to you and uh, you could be easily able to create your these kind of these kind of um, skewness curve. Thank you and keep watching. Stay tuned.